time for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. It's a new line that's come out by Mark and Medina. In fact, it's their own line of pins. And uh, they were at one time doing an auction on them. Uh, and uh, part of the uh, proceeds would be going to uh, a charity. So, this pin is the Moscow pin. And they come from different countries. And the pen, color of the pen, is the color of the flags of the city in the country. So this is Moscow. So let's open the box. The box comes. Nice leather type case with some white stitching around. It feels good to the hand. Nice presentation. And when you open it, this is what it looks like. And we'll take it out of the package. And the package, Marlin, Italy. And here is the pen. It comes with your basic booklet, Citizens on it, Marta Modena, over here to the left of it. And uh, it just gives you your basic information and your warranty. And on the back, it shows the model and it says uh, Moscow and of course the date and the dealer stamp. All right, let's get with the pen now. Here is the pen. The Martin Medina Citizen. It's a large pen. The weight, 26 grams. The cap is nine grams. And the barrel is 17 grams. The length, of the pen, 14.3 centimeters or 5.63 inches, capped 138 millimeters, uncapped 129 millimeters, posted 162 millimeters. The width of the pen is 1.6 millimeters or 0 0.63 inches. The section of the pen is 11.5 millimeters to 12.8 millimeters. The colors are blue that they have are blue, yellow, white, red, and other colors just depending what you buy, what pin you want. The pen comes in this nice black leather looking case. March and Medina teamed up with Leonard Marlin and the material is a resin and steel nib is iridium and the size of the nib is a size 6 medium and it even has an ink window for you to check on the level of your ink. That's a pretty neat I like about this pen and the trim of the pen is gold, so I'm sure it's like gold plated, probably. Um, cartridge converter, piston fill, and handmade in Italy. The pen is made only through artisanal process. Resin, bar, hand turned, again like you heard me do on the Delta as it rolls away. And you can see that really nice nib it has on it. And uh, as always, like I've said before, Marcia Medina standard to your warranty. And let's take a look at this nib.
It's got that gold plated nib. Now this nib is not numbered, but it has the M for Martin Modena on the nib. Nice looking nib. Just a good looking nib. And the grip is white. And you got the blue uh, band that the cap screws on. So you got white, then you got the blue, then you got the red. And then at the end uh, of the pen, you got this gray color going on. And uh, it's supposed to be representing the Moscow uh, flag of that city. And I'll just unscrew the barrel. As you can see, I have it inked up. And I have it with Private Reserve Electric DC Blue. And the converter is nicely fitted into the grip section. And I really do like the window on it. And we'll take the blind cap off right up here. And there's the piston filler. You can use it piston by just turning it and filling your pin. But I'd rather just take it out and do it uh, the regular way by the converter myself. As you look at the clip again, it's got the Marta Modena on the clip. The, the nibs is a Vox uh, steel nib. And I like that little sketching going on in white. Maybe that light will kind of bring this color out more for you. And on top of the pen, it has the Marta Medina initial there. Nicely done. The pen can be posted. Feels nice in the hand. And this is how I usually like my pens. If I can post a pen, I will. It's not top heavy. It just feels really good. Uh, is this pen worth what it sells for on the site? Well, they're running for $115, these pens. I think it's more of a $75 to $90 pen myself. But it's a well-made pen. I'll give it that. Feels good in my hand. You know, it's not that light. It's not that heavy. It's not a real big pen, in my opinion. But it's not a small pen as well. So, what do you say we do a writing sample? All right, here we go. I'm just using regular notebook paper. I forgot my rodeo. It's at my desk. So, sorry about that. But anyway, the ink that we're using today on this pen is the Franklin Christoph Emerald 357. And let's start with some writing. Here we go. Writes very smooth. The quick brown fox. And as you see, it writes really nice. So let me finish up now with the Quick Brown Fox. And what did the Quick Brown Fox do? Well, jumped over the lazy dog. And I really like the way this nip just 
floats on paper. It really does. It just just floats. Uh, there's uh, not any line variation in fast writing. No skips, no bad starts, it writes just fine, extremely nice writer, and I'm pleased with it. I bought this pen myself, it wasn't uh, given to me or sent to me by Marcia Medina. Am I glad I bought it? Yeah. I like to collect all the cities that I can, but uh, that can add up to some money. So I buy what I can when I can. So let's do the wetness. Again, this is cheap paper, so it's not going to be as wet. It does lay down the ink, as you can see, no problem. And the wetness is not there. Again, cheap paper. That's what I've come to learn, that if it's cheap paper, you're not going to get that wetness, really. But on some uh, higher-end paper, I'm sure you will. It really is nice just to write with. This is an extremely nice nib on this pen. Look at that. You can just doodle all day long and just have a good time just doing doodling. Well, that should cover this review on the Marta Medina Citizen Moscow pen. That is out now, and you can go to the Marta Medina site. Just uh, type that in, and you can pull it up. And you can look at all the flags, uh, sorry, all the pins they have that represent the city of what is it, whatever country that you choose you'd like to just look or purchase. So... I hope you enjoyed this review and be safe as always and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody has a safe day and remember don't text and drive. I'll see you on my next review. Have a good one.